Okay, here we are. So uh, I labeled this mis misinformation. <clears throat> Going to try to stay on one subject today. Uh, also, if you have, there's a second subject, customer service ideas. Uh, I want to do uh, probably a two-parter or a longer one on customer service. So if you have ideas on customer service, taking care of people, stuff like that, Email it to me, Tom at TomHenryRacing.com, and we'll see if we can jointly put together something on that. I thought that would be kind of fun and interesting. So I already got a sketch out for this. So, so if you want to be a part, send me some ideas. Uh, call out to Vina and Joe, who watch uh, faithfully. Thank you very much. Some more uh, uh, further away visitors on the webs on the uh, show. So... Thank you. Appreciate everybody that does watch and uh, comment and and or tell me later. Uh, <clears throat> so this one's pretty much based on an article uh, that I read by Tim Caulfield. So uh, and and one of the things just in researching this uh, was semantics. How when you look up things, you can see the same basic info, but the words. Uh, that are in there, and that's a whole separate topic, but uh, can alter the thought. So you've got one that says lawyer and one that says performer, and you get two complete different ideas from that. So just quickly uh, bringing that up. But <clears throat> uh, one of the things I think for uh, humankind is good stories. Uh, good stories um, we enjoy. But in a lot of cases, these stories that we see uh, become urban legends where it's a good story and it gets spread so much and it becomes kind of a truth that really isn't. Uh, we tend to spread them because it's fun um, and it's easy. Today, uh, you can spread this stuff with social media so easily, which is what's happening. So if the if the story plays to our social or political bent, too, uh, we tend to do this, whereas we would not spread something else. So <clears throat> one of the things about this is we're, if we do spread something that's wrong, untruthful, retractions are rarely, rarely seen. Um, there was one article of a uh, misinformation. There were 500,000 views. I think they studied Facebook. And uh, when there was uh, warnings about this being actually totally wrong, 20,000 views of that. So once it gets out, it's just uncontrollable. <clears throat> uh, social media just makes it, especially Facebook, just makes it so easily to uh, spread, easy to spread. And uh, humans, it's been found, are predisposed to spread to remember and spread negativity. So that's just kind of appeals to us for some reason. Uh, maybe it's uh, that juicy story that nobody has and you become the center of attention or uh, just that you are in the know and others aren't. I don't know what, what does that, but uh, uh, another study showed that negative headlines outperform positive ones. And that seems uh, so true to me. And you can see it in the advertising sometimes, those goofy uh, little things that they keep feeding up. Uh, you're, you will be shocked if you live in this and then they plug in wherever you live. Uh, all the time, it gets, it gets old. I don't know who clicks on that stuff, but <clears throat> uh, I think really that just proves the theory bad news travels fast. And... Uh, I always remember that one because I had a little drag car when I was a kid and it was called Bad News. It was probably out there somewhere, but uh, the guy named his car that. <clears throat> so uh, one of the other problems is algorithms on Facebook tend to keep feeding us the same type of stuff the way it's, uh, it's worked out. So uh, just like, uh, you know, I looked at a bicycle or clicked on it or I stayed too long, I don't know, on the picture, and all of a sudden I've got a hundred different bicycle manufacturers coming up in the feed. So, uh, and I actually found that kind of enjoyable because I'm just looking at all this stuff, but <clears throat> uh, 
all the same, it just proves that point that um, when you look at a certain bent of article or something, it tends to feed you that, even though they say they don't want to do that. Uh, one of the other things I noted was social media platforms are really creating polarization. So we're seeing, uh, I think we're all seeing this happen. And for the last <clears throat> eight years, anyhow, as it, it got more and more popular, more people on it, um, <clears throat> this is definitely a truth. And I think part of the reason that uh, we're all fighting each other. Uh, the problem with this too is that some uh, rogue states or uh, groups or companies may leverage this. They can use this in some way. I mean, think of China getting in and uh, jumping on negative posts or creating good negative posts and uh, uh, getting them out there. And then it's a good solid story or sounds interesting and we spread it. <clears throat> So uh, I think whenever you think you have the smoking gun, you've got this story or this piece of information and you want to get that out there. I think you need to stop for a second and say, is this too good to be true? And uh, certainly we should slow down on what we are spreading <clears throat> with our, our own stuff. So uh, I think this is... Uh, one of the causes that we just uh, we just jump on it so quickly. So uh, how do we help stop the spread? Well, this is just totally tough one because there's so much misinformation. We just can't tell what is real, and that's that's a problem. <clears throat> so how well are we going to be doing this? Well, I don't know, but uh, I think you need to really use your head and try to think through things. Um, is there evidence of what you are looking at or trying to say? Uh, you know, early scientific studies are getting released, but um, they can be wrong. It's a preliminary paper or something that's early out there, which is getting picked up and, hey, here's a ahead of the curve story for somebody. So they, they get on it, jump on it. And it gets out there, but it's really not truth yet. It was a preliminary study. Uh, some of these, there's data manipulation on where whoever released this has a second agenda <clears throat> or maybe a company or a drug manufacturer or something. So, uh, so there's, there's an issue. How solid is the scientific basis if it's that kind of story? Um, is it based on a story? A lot of times... Uh, we listen to uh, someone, for instance, if I came on here and said, this happened to so-and-so, therefore it can happen to you. Uh, we all do it, but are there any facts in this? Is it just one story uh, like getting hit with lightning? And uh, the odds <clears throat> and the truth behind it are uh, another thing. And is it an opinion of a friend? We tend to... Uh, hold these things higher and spread them when it's an opinion of a friend uh, because it's just more believable. We trust our friends. So if you trust me, don't listen to any of the stuff I'm telling you. <laughs> oh, my sense of humor. So uh, <clears throat> is it trying to create fear or spin? We've seen the spin doctor. At first, when that, that first came out, the spin, I didn't quite understand, but... Uh, it certainly has become a, a big thing. So you can, you can create spin just by injecting doubt into the story. So if you have a good, solid, truthful evidence, we can create spin, negative uh, or doubt into that. And this is what happens in uh, courts um, when uh, you see some of these jury trials or something, you create doubt and therefore it isn't uh, convictable. <clears throat> I guess it's human nature, but so you, you have to think what you're looking at. Is it, is it creating fear or spin? Is it, uh, could it be uh, just injecting doubt? So what are the sources? How can you fact check? <clears throat> you know, just uh, if you really want to get into it, just Googling or searching on internet, uh, 
maybe Firefox or one of the other ones, uh, try different browsers just to see the different results, which we've talked about before. You do get different results. You get different results on your area. Uh, can you fact check? Uh, I believe Snopes is still thought to be uh, very solid on checking facts. Uh, and there's actually a couple of fact checking sites that have a complete bent of their own. So uh, <laughs> you have to check the checker. But there's also, I think, factcheck.com or statnews.com. Some other sources that could help if you really want to know if you've got the right thing. So... Uh, not easy. Uh, be careful what you spread. <clears throat> we need to be smart. We need to be responsible. Maybe more people, if they did this, would uh, slow down this uh, spread of uh, misinformation. So just some thoughts there. A tough one for sure. And uh, no matter how much information we get, we're probably still going to get tripped up. I think of the medical stuff that uh, you just get so many different opinions. And even when you go to doctors, you get different opinions there, and that makes it really tough. So, uh, so when it's all said and done, flip the coin. <laughs> <clears throat> Just kidding. So that's my thoughts on that. Hope you enjoyed that. I'm going to end with a quote here. Uh, a lie can travel halfway around the world while the truth is putting on its shoes. I like that one. Hope to see you too soon. Thanks for watching.